last fall for us was about the elimination of bad football. Phase two is about finishing drives and being explosive. We focus on the daily little things that then accumulate into big things. There's a lot of fire, there's a lot of talent in this program. We just gotta keep climbing day in and day out. Once we inside here, we're gonna get better together. It's just gonna carry down to the defensive side. Really, I think there's key things that need to happen. It's playing hard, it's playing fast, it's playing physical, it's playing fundamentally sound, uh, no matter what the situation is. As long as we come with the same effort, attitude, and attention to detail every day, we're gonna grow so much. We need to continue to embrace a culture of competition. When we all improve, our program will improve. Embracing competition is essential to the success of any program. And no position on the field carries more responsibility than the quarterback. Luckily for the Jayhawks, it's a position of strength. Having last season play out the way it did affords us several quarterbacks going into the season who have starting experience within the last year. Jason obviously carries elite speed. He's going to tuck and run, Bean to the 35. Jason's athletic ability is, is freaky. Jason Bean on the move. I haven't had a lot of athletes in my career that I've worked with that have been 22 mile an hour type of guys. Can he get in? Yes. Jalen Daniels has been a tremendous athlete and be able to keep plays alive. Towards the goal line, yes he can! Jalen, I feel like he's fearless. Hit at the three, he dives, yes! Jalen has a cannon full on. Daniels was money. There's just something that where we've all heard it called the it factor, and, and Jalen has it. Throwing on the run, it's caught, and Kansas will win! Holy cow! They both have a strong desire to grow in the realm of leadership. Go, keep it up, let's go! and they're fantastic young men and they embody competition. It's a you versus you mentality. The only person that you should really be competing with is yourself. If you're trying to compete with the ones around you, that just means that you don't feel too confident about what you can do. If you feel that you're good enough to be able to compete with anybody in the nation, the only person you're gonna be competing with is you because you wanna make yourself better. Sometimes competition can generate animosity. And those two are a great example of where that's not the case. They are so happy for each other's success. Let's go! I think competition brings out the best in everybody. We've kind of, you know, fed off each other's energy last year, and you know, I think we've both grown a tremendous amount. This spring, the coaching staff is finding unique ways to bring the team together including putting the fate of the team in freshman quarterback Jack Jackson's hands with three tries to try to hit the goalpost to avoid extra conditioning. Our core values are pride, relentless, believe. And our number one goal here is to have a sustainable winning program. And that word sustainable is synonymous with trust. And so from a coach's standpoint, we as coaches can only push these athletes to the level in which they trust us. That is critical. But the next piece of it is the most critical part. We talk about wanting to develop a player-led program. And if we're going to do that, our players have to trust each other. But camaraderie doesn't come easy. And with the season only months away, there's no time to spare. We about to do this now for real. We ain't wear the bowling shoes. Bro, I'm finna whoop you with bowling shoes on, gang. I want you to see my stats of me whooping you. JD up first. Watch when JD6 is in the mix, dude. We got number 12, XL, green marble. Green my favorite color, let's do it. This team has definitely become more together. We just have a different vibe with each other, whether it's workout, extra work on the field, or just going out to eat with each other. Oh, no! Oh! I hit Did you? Bro, he said. That was the main emphasis in spring ball, you know? Create bonds with each other and be able to create just a stronger bond as a team. You were able to see the vibe and the energy, and that all comes along with getting comfortable with each other. I like to kick it. 10 pins, one man, one strike. 
I ain't never seen JD ball like this. It's something about you bonding with the people around you that you're gonna go on that field and fight for. I bet whatever on six. So if I treat everybody on this team as if I grew up with them, we're gonna have a strong bond and we're gonna be able to fight for each other when it comes down to the game. Come on, gang. The culture that Coach Leipold and his staff brought in and everything that we're trying to turn into, I can see the future. And if all the 100 players that are with you on that sideline, everybody's on the same page, that, that's scary. What now?